Hey, how's it going guys? Cody back here once again for our classic horror review. And for tonight's review, I'm going to be talking about the 1985 horror compilation video released by MCA Home Entertainment. And that is Terror in the Isles. Um, I actually haven't shown off this tape on my channel, but this is the VHS that I got uh, from my local Goodwill about a week ago. See, there's a show off the cover. It's actually still sealed in plastic except for the bottom. But yeah, like I said, Terror in the Isles is basically a, a compilation of all the best classic horror scenes from all the best horror films. Um, you get classic scenes from Halloween, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Jaws, The Exorcist, Rosemary's Baby, Carrie, The, uh, the Thing, The Fog, pretty much all the best classic ones. You also get clips from The Wolfman, Dracula, and Frankenstein. And um, it's basically just a great compilation of all the best uh, horror scenes from just classic horror films. One thing that's really cool about this tape is that it's actually, uh, the movie is actually hosted by Donald Pleasance and Nancy Allen. And the way that it is set up is that it has Donald Pleasance and Nancy sitting in a movie theater surrounded by other people who are basically there watching the movies. They're not really watching the movies, but it's really cool seeing them, you know, watching the scenes and you can see the audience and how did they react to it. You know, you see them all jumping or you see them laughing or whatever. And um, basically Donald Pleasance is basically talking about or Donald and Nancy, they basically talk throughout the entire movie about, you know, why horror films are there, why they exist, why do we want to go see it, you know, see them. At the beginning of the tape, um, there's a bit of a, a compilation of clips that's basically the intro, and you hear uh, something that kind of resembles the Halloween theme, or, yeah, the Halloween theme, and then it changes. Um, all the music in it is, uh, it was just made for the tape. There's no, like, actual full, uh, horror themes or anything, but, you know, you get Donald and Nancy, and they're talking about different horror films. They're talking about the impact that they've had. Um, at one point at the beginning of the film, you know, you see Donald, and he's, and he's talking about of how that it's weird of how, you know, you don't want to see all these horrible things, you know. It's not something that you want to think about, yet there will, yet when you go see a movie in theaters, people line up to see horrible things happen on camera. And you get to watch, you know, you get to watch them unfold in front of your eyes on the screen, and they talk a lot about that. Um, Donald also gives some good antidotes to the different horror films. Um, at one point, probably one of my favorite ones is, you know, why, um, what is one thing that he says? Uh, you know, why do people want to see horrible things happen on camera? And the way he says it is that people want to see hor horrible things, you know, on the screen as a way of helping them deal with things that happen in real life. And I really like that idea. I really like it how that horror films can in some sort of way, I guess, you know, make you aware and I guess prepare you for other things that may be happening, you know, in some way. Or, you know, if you have aggression towards you, they talk about, you know, people that may have rage. If you have some sort of aggression, you know, you can't, you can't let your rage out you know, in real life, you know, it, by hurting someone, yet in horror movies you can. You can sit there and you can in some way get your anger and your rage out just by watching these scenes. Um, yeah, like I said, they both talk, you know, throughout the, the different scenes of the movies. Um, there's also one uh, scene when they begin talking about the classic horror films like The Birds or Psycho, and there's also an interview with Alfred Hitchcock in this in this one, and he's talking about He's talking about suspense, you know, and he's talking about, um, he gives a bit of a story about, you know, sus suspense of how, you know, if there's two people sitting at a table and they're talking about baseball or whatever and then a bomb goes off, people are, they're, you know, they're frightened and they're shocked that a bomb went off, but that's only for a short time, maybe the 10 seconds that the bomb goes off. Yet, the way he says it, if you were to say, oh, there's two people sitting at a table and there's a bomb underneath the, underneath the table and it's, and the timer is on for five minutes. Then there's these, then of course the audience is aware. Oh, there's a bomb underneath the table. You know they need to get rid of that. And then that's when the suspense builds up. And there's a whole, you know, an idea in the tape, you know, about building up suspense. And I felt that if you build it up before it happens, you know, then that's, you know, it makes people a lot more scared. And it really, you know, it, it make gets their heart, you know, 
thumping in their chest, and it, you know, it, it really makes the, at the end, when the scare actually happens, it's all the more effective, you know. It, as a way of Donald Pleasant, the way that Donald Pleasant says it, you know, um, when that happens, you know, like if a director tells, you know, in, in horror films, a director will tell you something scary is going to happen, but I'm not going to tell you when. And the way Donald Pleasant says it, you know, you're, it's, it's like you're being programmed to go insane, which I like. Um, Donald talks a lot into this. Uh, Nancy Allen does not, unfortunately. I kind of, um, even though I'm a big fan of Donald Pleasant's, I kind of wish that Nancy might have talked a bit more in this. She does end up talking a little bit um, later on in the movie when they begin talking about sex on, on screen. And I felt that, you know, when people are having sex, they're vulnerable. You know, when people are naked, they're vulnerable. Or when they're in the shower and she ends up talking about that. You know, because, of course, when you're, probably the worst time you're vulnerable is when you're in a bathroom or when you're naked in any possible way. And then she begins talking about the female role and the thought that usually when the killer is, whatever, who, whatever person the killer is stalking or whoever the victim is in a horror film, it's almost always a woman. And she talks a bit about because women are considered weak, you know, compared to men, women are considered a lot more vulnerable. But she doesn't, but, you know, of course, women are usually the ones that win in the end. And I did like that idea. You know, she does talk a lot more about other things. You know, him, you know it's usually it shows uh, Donald talking for a little bit. And then you see her talking and they go back and forth a little bit. So, um, you know, for that, I really didn't enjoy it. You know, they're mostly, um, they don't talk to each other. It's mostly just them talking to the screen and, you know, talking a lot about, you know, like I said, how horror films have affected society, how pe how different people look at them as, and it's a really it's a really enjoyable watch. Um, but like I, um, like I said, there's clips from all different types of horror films. There's also a couple of clips from other uh, like sort of action, maybe thriller films that were kind of thrown in. That even though they might not fit very well, they're still uh, pretty uh, enjoyable to watch. Um, I will say, though, that in some scenes in the movie, there's actually some spoilers in it. There's actually some scenes uh, from some of the movies where you actually do see how the killer at the end of them dies. And I kind of, you know, wish they didn't include those because for people that haven't seen those movies, you kind of gave away the, uh, the ending. Um, it doesn't tell you what movie you're watching. It basically just has a clip of it. But one thing I really enjoyed about it is that it has a, they're basically montages. You see... You know, like, the music begins, and let's say if it's a, a woman alone in her house, when they're talking about that, you see her walking around, and you see her looking around, like, from maybe a, it has a clip from when, when a stranger calls, then it cuts to Laurie Strode or Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween, you know, and it basically just has, like, different montages of different scenes while the music, while whatever music they have is playing, and it's really effective. And it's really, really, uh, really enjoyable watch. Um, even at the end of the movie, there's this fun, like, sort of horror-related uh, music that's playing. There's sort of a, a comedic uh, song that's playing at the end that's uh, pretty uh, entertaining as well. But all in all, this is a really great, uh, fun, you know, just entertaining video. Um, I definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of classic horror movies, then I definitely recommend this one. You know, it's really, you know, like I said, a really fun, entertaining one. It's got a lot of great clips. Plus, Donald and Nancy's insight is very, very entertaining and informative as well. And, um, yeah, it was just an all-around good one. It, it, ha it has a really great mood. And it also, when I finished watching it, it really got me pumped up to go and watch a good classic horror movie, you know? Because it really puts these movies on a pedestal, which is how do they deserve. And it's basically, you know, I guess one of the things that you can watch is like a celebration of, you know, classic horror clips or classic horror movies, and it celebrates the, the horror fan, basically. So, um, yeah, that was my uh, quick review of Terror in the Isles. Um, if you guys have seen Terror in the Isles, definitely let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I am planning on watching this again sooner or later. So, um, yeah, guys, like I said, um, if you've seen it, definitely let me know what you guys think. Um, I hope everybody's doing well, and I hope everybody has a great weekend. See you guys later. Hang on.